G'day guys, Maya here, and today I'm going to be giving you all an update on 1.3 and what to expect from Terraria. So there is a heap of stuff being added, and I'm going to get through this as quickly as possible. So first off, there's going to be two new events. Uh, we've got the Lunar event, which includes bosses like Vampire, Frankenstein and Fritz, this Creature from the Deep, Dr. Manpipe, Mothron, Severed Hand, the Possessed, Butcher, Psycho, Deadly Spears, Swamp Thing, Nailhead, as well as a Reaper. So the side event is going to be a cultist based event, we do have some screenshots and it is looking pretty awesome. So after that there's going to be a new game mode, expert game mode, there's going to be identical enemies and bosses but with new more difficult AIs as well as increased drop rates. The animations have also been updated for both the player and also the NPC, as well as NPC interactions. They will now uh, move around with better AI and will also sit down in chairs if you have them placed. The textures have also been updated for most of the NPCs. Another new addition is also mini biomes which will now spawn randomly throughout your world. Next we have up to 250 new items, bringing the total item count to over 3000. This includes the laser ruler which is an accessory that allows live measuring of tile distances via the cursor. Meow Meow, a sword that shoots Nyan Cats. This will most likely be a drop from the new Nyan Cat inspired boss. Sinks for every furniture set, a portal gun, cultist costume vanity set, which is most likely going to be a drop from the uh, the cultist side event. We also have the Honey Fall Block, Alchemy Table, offering a 1 in 3 chance to not consume the ingredients when crafting potions, Vine Rope or Cob Web Rope, Sticky Dynamite, Nail Gun, Royal Gel, Pink Gel, there's also the Magic Water Dropper, a Wormhole Potion which allows the player to teleport to another player's location just by clicking on the minimap, the Flask of Frost, Frost Bullets, the Laser Machine Gun, the Charged Laser Blaster, Granite Blocks, Marble Blocks, Planetar Blocks, Sparring Dummies, Rainbow Torches, Rainbow Campfires, Yo-Yos, New Dyes, including the Living Rainbow, Living Flame, Pixie with Chlorophyte and Gold, Redesigned Water Fountains, and uh, on top of that they've also updated the water physics so they behave in a much more realistic looking way. Uh, there's also going to be a new liquid, a new hook, a purple dagger that can bounce, a shield based on the Eye of Cthulhu. As well as that, there's a heap of new banners that'll be coming out. So moving on, they've also changed a lot of the mechanics. So events now have progress bars, weapons can be used while riding mounts, there are minion modifiers, so we have you know more diversity in the enemies that we're fighting, fishing pole modifiers, uh, more starting outfits for character creation, and on top of that, they're planning to smooth out the world generation uh, when you start a new world, so your spawn point uh, it's not so uh, messed up you know, for those who have ever spawned in a big vast chasm. Next on, they are going to be changing a lot of the uh, user interface and it's uh, all definitely for the better. So Smart Curse is now going to be building stairs. Uh, the Quick Loot, which will work like Quick Stack but in reverse, so it will make it really easy to loot from the chest. Uh, quick Stack to all nearby chests, which is personally what I'm looking forward to most. Uh, I spend probably more time sorting through my chests and anything in Terraria. Uh, you're also going to be able to set a favourite slot in your inventory so you can keep it from being trashed, deposited or sold if it's not in your uh, top bar. The hook is going to have its own dedicated equipment slot. There is going to be a new pink team adding uh, five teams in total for multiplayer play. The minimap is also going to show re who recently died in multiplayer and also upon your death your total amount of coins is going to be displayed. You're also going to be able to showcase the items that you've acquired in the multiplayer chat. But there's also progress bars for world generation. But on top of that there's a whole heap of enhancements just ranging from graphics to highlighting on mouse over as well as also displaying more information with accessories like watches and the GPS. Finally they also have added the screenshot function. I hope this video brought you guys up to speed in a timely manner. Enjoy. I will be back for Terraria 1.3. I will be back for Project Zomboid. And I will be back for Gary's Mod with Sergeant Skittles real soon. So, yeah. Stay tuned.